Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, just stopped around here as we were basically exploring Narshida, really. And, uh, this group looked like, you know, wasn't going to end well for the guy in plain clothes. So we'll see if we can help out. Please, yeah. look, I, I already paid the exchange what I have. What you have, not enough. Pay all. Or we will make up the percentage by taking a percentage of you back with us. Uh, but I, uh, oh, look, here's the one with your credit. Excuse me? About time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. You have the rest that this one owes. Give all owed now. Um. Hmm. <laughs> wow, that seems dark sidey, and I'm pretty sure it won't work. Um, I could do this. Um, I could do that. Hmm, I don't know about that because they're exchange already. I'm not sure if that will work either. Mm. <laughs> Kissing Duracrete. That makes sense. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to pull out the force, but maybe a persuasion attempt. Maybe that'll work. This man is under my protection. Leave now. Uh, protects him, but we want him to pay us credits. Silence. This one may be more than we can handle. Leave the debtor here. There will be another time. Yay! And they just and disappear like ghosts. You have accomplished. I thought it was the best thing to do. If you seek to aid everyone that suffers in the galaxy, you will only weaken yourself and weaken them. It is the internal struggles, when fought and won on their own, that yield the strongest rewards. You stole that struggle from them, cheapened it. The struggle was about debt. Are you saying being in debt makes you stronger? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Because <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Mm. Is it wrong to help others in need? If you care for others, then dispense with pity and sacrifice and recognize the value in letting them fight their own battles. And when they triumph, they will be even stronger for the victory. Okay. It sounds good on paper. But again, this entire issue was about financial debt. I'm pretty sure fighting your way out of that when the deck is stacked against you nine times out of ten anyway. And they usually also have the legal system on your side in this, you know, hypothetical situation where it, you know, branches off into reality. That's not really an option. But, because we're trying to be nice to Kreia, perhaps you are right. I will consider this. That is all I ask. And I lost. Okay, whatever. <laughs> are you crazy? That was exchange muscle. When they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. Uh-huh. Aren't you going to thank me? Thank you? 
They'll be after me worse than ever. I'm laying low for a while. Maybe they'll forget about me. That was generous of you. I do not know if Atris would have been so kind. She has taught that you do not help others by giving them what they can achieve themselves. Hmm. Well, that is definitely a different take than uh, Kreia. But this is an opportunity to gain more influence with the Handmaiden. I could just badmouth Atrus, but I don't think that's a good idea. Hmm. I like the first two options, but I don't know which one I like more. Hmm. Maybe because it branches off into what we were talking about with Kreia, I'll go with the first one. Sometimes we all need a little help to reach our potential. I will be mindful of what you have said. It is not a lesson we were exposed to on Telos. That is a good point, too. Hmm. I like the third one. Life has many such lessons. One must learn as we go. And I gained influence with the Handmaiden. Okay, I win. I may have lost some with Kreia, but I won some with the Handmaiden. I am happy. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. Oh. This is the bit that usually would be happening telekinetically while she's at the ship. This bit is basically required a bit of storytelling, but it's interesting that we're doing it telekinetically here. Or at least that's what the vignetting on the shot suggests. I I feel this background noise. Like a vibration. It is Nashada, the true Nashada that you feel around you. It is this moon with the metal and machines stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. It feels so alive, but with a desperation about it. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. Uh, that sounds dark sidey. that last one there. But the anger and desperation. Is there some way to heal it? One might as well heal the universe, but such manipulation is possible, yes. It requires that one be able to feel the critical point within the fractured mass, and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Mm. Well, I could go and continue harping on. I just want to heal it, but I kind of want to go with this answer, this feeling. How long can I feel these echoes around me? For as long as it lasts. Like life, such waking moments within the Force are rare, waiting for the right moment when the critical point is struck and the sound rises. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Ooh. It cut off some of the text, but I got a maximum force points increase. It's actually rather good. I'm okay with that. I am rather okay with that. Now, I think I still... Hi there? I don't remember you. Undar. Where are you... Yeah, you're not the look of a human who is looking for no cred junk deals. Yes, human? No, no, cred junk here. No, no, cred junk here. Only good cred weapons, good cred armor. No cred line. Only cred up front for any item. Look, but do not look long, for I have many customers waiting. I don't see any. What do you know, human? You think sell business go elsewhere to shut a not male Rodian female? You are wrong. 
Shut up. What is cause of not seeing customers? I tell you cause, not male, Rhodian, female, Ida. Snatch my business. Take it from me. I would pay good cred to see her gone. Dead. Ash. Brush her away like dust on cargo crate. Um, that's messed up, dude. That's messed up, my dude. I mean, I understand the sentiment. Want to see your competition, you know not be competition anymore, but I mean, wishing death, that's, that's a little fucked, my dude. It's more than a little fucked. Yeesh. Whoa, that's dark sidey as all hell, holy shit. If she's hurting your business, maybe I could talk to her. Reach a compromise. Cannot offer good cred, but shave credit off stock. Maybe good cred worth better cred. Make worth your time. Hmm. A discount off your weapons and armor? All right, done. You deal with not male, rhodian, female. Until you do, you receive no good cred. Better cred deals with me. Go. Okay, well, I guess I have to talk to the uh, rhodian lady. Wherever she is. Were you? Hey, I saw that ship you flew in on. My ship. Your ship. What makes you think the ship's yours? It's the Edmund Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. Hmm. Well, those are really all dark sidey near the bottom here. Uh, if you can. Prove the ship is yours. No. Nah, he could probably prove it. If you couldn't hold on to it, then you didn't deserve it. So, you admit it's not yours. How did you come by it anyway? Who did you buy it from? Huh. Well. Didn't give me a lot of options there, did ya? You're not taking the ship. We'll see about that. Watch yourself. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well. That was a thing. <laughs> that was a thing. I don't think I could have been able to handle it any better. Uh, Rodian girl, where are you? I have no idea where the Rodian girl is that he was talking about. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be running around this main area for a while until I find her, I'm sure. Oh, well, Gida, hello. Ah, you have the look of a seasoned spacer about you, and perhaps a veteran. Okay, I'm Gita, humble purveyor of supplies, clothing, and for one such as yourself, weapons and armor. Hmm. Did you know Undar offered me a discount to deal with you? So many problems beset Undar, it is a wonder he has time to mention just one. I am indeed flattered. Your business to me is more important, however. Whatever discount Undar has offered, I shall match it if you will permit me to remain and do business without incident. That is acceptable. Very well. That brings me much relief. Many people here on the moon are somewhat intractable concerning such matters. What do you mean before? Veteran of a war yet to come. Which is the part I didn't get to read because it moved so fast. Struggles and battles are the way of the universe. The pitch and yaw as empires fall and rise. And at the business of... Okay. Uh, by your stance, I can see tell you can have seen many battles and you are not ready to lay your weapons aside. Also, I was viewing her <laughs> clipping through my body, showing that I am a hollow person. <laughs> I am a hollow man. <laughs> okay. So, I apologize for the bits I can't read fast enough because these texts, for some reason, despite being three lines long, will zoom through far before anyone can read them. Also, I have to clear my throat. Give me a second. Alright, there we go.
a little better. So, unfortunately, that bug still seems to be happening. It, we also saw a bit of that through uh, Kreia's dialogue. But, we're, you know, still going to try. I don't know if we're going to be able to succeed, but I'm still going to try. You're pretty articulate for a Rodian. Being amongst numerous races has been to my benefit. It has distanced me from my clan, however, who do not normally associate with humans. I must confess that I've always found the human shape and pigmentation pleasing, but my perversion has proved something of a distaste for my clan. Oh, you have a thing for humans. <laughs> Rodian girl having a thing for human people. Hmm. Is this... Yeah, that's that's basically uh, the alien version of uh, furries, though, isn't it? It's <laughs> basically what it is. It's basically what it is. Okay. So you spend a lot of time around humans. No more than any other member of the galactic community. My travels have taken me many places before my arrival here on the Smuggler's Moon. Okay, uh, let's see what you have then. Just because I'm curious now, now that I worked out that whole thing. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Strength package. How is the power implant gives me more strength with less constitution? But this one gives me extra constitution. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alrighty. There's almost no point at all in getting that. Okay, well. Mm, I kind of want to just sell her some of my stuff I don't need. But I don't need credits that badly. I say... <laughs> I say as I then look at these and see how many credits I get for selling them. Oh, boy. I kind of want to hold on to this one because it is useful, but... This one I'm kind of willing to sell. Yeah, I'm willing to sell that. Yeah, 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 I know. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. Okay, uh... Great dash plating, I might hold on to that. Especially when I get HK up and operational, I'll need that. Okay. Journal entry has been, whoops, updated. And Gita offered the same discount Ondar did in exchange for allowing her to remain in business. So I assume I finish that by talking to Undar. Which was... Which direction was he again? He's over this way, wasn't he? Yeah, he was over this way, I think. There he is. Yeah. Not male Rody and female, not gone. You do not jump. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder. How far could I push this? <laughs> uh, but. I wonder if this will work. I need to see your weapons first. You deal with not male, rhodian, female. Okay, well then, how about no? She seems pretty harmless, so I'm letting her stay. You make promise, say you do this, then hunch step away, looking for exit ramp? No, you say you do this, make offer, I accept, no hunch step now. I didn't promise you anything. Okay, you're not going to let me look at your stuff at all, then. I'll do it, now let's see what you have. Okay, that's, so I'm not going to be able to get any further in this unless I actually deal with her.
This doesn't look good. Whatever's going on here. I'm telling you, it's all here. I told you two dozen cases. What am I supposed to do with two? You are going to pay me for the two. Boss. An ambush. Your double crossing Leku will adorn my walls quick. Okay, that's. Wow. Leave none alive. Well, I walked into a drug deal gone bad, I assume. <laughs> Handmaidens already in the middle of the combat. Okay. Um, Master Flurry, then, I guess. Wait. First, Force Whirlwind. Then we'll do. All right. There we go. So doing pretty good for ourselves. There we go. Oh, Kray is in trouble. <laughs> Oh uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, she is in a lot of trouble. <laughs> okay, she is in a lot of trouble. My goodness. Okay, at least that ended up helping her. So there's that. And we're going to... Why did I switch to normal attack? Flurry is my thing. Okay, there we go. And down they go. Credits from you. What did this guy have? A Chani shield. Okay, that ain't too bad. Chani heavy armor. Well then. Interesting. Whoa, geez. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The speed. Shenanigans. My goodness. Okay, so I'm assuming these are the two cases that they were talking about. So much for that. Um, the Chani Heavy Armor. I want to see what that's about real quick. But the only one who can really wear it is her. Chani Heavy Armor. It's actually heavy. A lower dexterity bonus. Slightly more mobility? Uh, nah, no. Flex heavy armor is better. Like, in every way, better. <laughs> what? What? I was expecting it to be on par, but no. It's not even close. My goodness. Well, I'm going to have to get rid of that. It's basically worthless. At least worthless to me. Well, hello, commoner. Okay. All right, and this was the door that the guy who threatened me for taking his ship went. Okay, this is the actual refugee sector. Okay. That's... I keep hitting the wrong button. I think I've explored everything else except that path over there. So I might as well check on what that is. This is the Narshadot docks. Huh. Interesting. I think that's where I came in from, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm not sure. N doesn't look like it now. Ah, the mighty Hanhar. You wear your shackles well. How did you meet with Go? How did you meeting with Godoko? Lethal, I hope. I can talk. Only his shadow and his voice. 
He fears to stand before others in the flesh. He is strange prey. I do not pay you to hunt him, but to kill him, Wookie. Perhaps I chose unwisely. Perhaps another bounty hunter scum could serve me better. You find no one who can hunt better than me. I have walked the Shadowlands of Kashyyyk and returned with the pincers of the Kinrath buried in my flesh with the scars of battle upon him. Yes, yes, and that is why Zerka found you such easy prey. I care nothing for the accomplishments of primates on some backwater world, Hadhar. I care only for your accomplishments here upon the smuggler's moon. But if you cannot perform the task, then perhaps the human female will serve. Mira, is it? Even nauseating, nauseatingly thin and shapely and free of wrinkles, she is said to have a dancer's grace and to be a better human than you, a better hunter than you. She refuses to kill, but I imagine with enough credits I could persuade her otherwise, especially considering what a disappointment you have proven to be. Speak of her again and I will tear your tongue from your throat. Won't let me skip that bit. Ooh. <laughs> the hounds are not happy about that. These are my hounds, Hanhar, just as you are. I tell you again, find Goto, kill him, and do not return until you have done this. I will return, Voga. This I swear to you. Okay, well... Those voices did a number on the throat, I tell you what. <laughs> Especially during a heavy pollen season, which is also fucking with my throat. Especially badly. But I continue onwards anyway. Well, here's the docks. I vaguely remember the docks for some reason. I'm not sure why. Pylon, console inactive. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why I remember the docks. Maybe because of the first game? Maybe. Maybe. It was a long time ago. I have a vague memory of the docks, but I'm not sure why. Cool. Cool. We go in here now. Oh. A couple of thugs. Gran and Aqualish. Okay. If you thought you could sneak up on us, you were wrong. I wasn't thinking of that at all. Can I just shut the door? <laughs> nope. Okay. Fine. Whatever. We move on to this door. And we'll just take whatever's here. Disruptor carbine. Okay. That ain't terrible. I won't complain about that. Oh. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's one of those things I will wait on. Lunar Shadow Crewman. What is this about? Where is the captain? I have no idea where your captain is. And they let me take that. Okay, fair enough. I guess we'll have to find their captain. Wherever the hell they are. More empty rooms with more Bothan sensory visor. Hmm. More items. And more things to... Whoa. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. But we have a Bith and a robot. Bith scientist. But if we recalibrate one, we'll have to recalibrate... Who are you? I'm Stray Cat, just checking out the area. I see. Yet, at the same time, I do not. Explain what it is you have come here for. Stray Cat, is it? Uh, 
Can I ask you what you're doing? I do not know if you can or not. I'm unfamiliar with human etiquette or physiology in reference to such situations. I just want to know what you're doing. It looks interesting. Of course, ask away. What are you doing here? I'm trying to get everything working. It is very difficult. What does all of this do? You know, the purpose of why you're trying to get it working? Which kind of was the point of the question. You know, that was why I asked it. That you still didn't answer fully. This equipment allows me to tie into the listening devices I installed in the docking pylons. They make perfect antennas, you see. Antennas for what? To triangulate a signal I detected. It is elusive, with strange harmonics, yet I must catch it. You're looking for one specific signal. Yes, but I must. It is the only frequency that I cannot get out of my, get out of my head. I can talk. Really, I can. I do it for a living. It just sometimes it's a little harder than usual, you know what I mean? Hmm. There are ways I could help you with that problem. Yes, well, my species can hear much higher frequencies than your species, you see. Sometimes we can hear communication sent through artificial means. Uh, why is it a problem? It will not stop. No matter how many frequency dampeners I surround myself with, I cannot get that one signal out of my head. The power driving it must be enormous. How enormous are we talking about? Whatever is generating the signal is strong enough to cover the entire planet. The unique thing is that the transmission is buried in several signals and other background noise. So you stumbled upon it by mistake. I would not have been able to pick it out were it, if it weren't for my knowledge of such things. Therein lies the problem. Due to my familiarity with the relevant technologies, I cannot tune it out as other people probably do. It is too noticeable. What makes this signal so unique is that it uses other transmissions and signals as carriers to cover the entire planet. There is no one generator of the signal. Such a device would be quite conspicuous. So you believe whoever sig whomever signal this is wants to keep it hidden? Whoever uses this particular, particular signal wants to keep it a secret from anyone who did not know exactly what to look for. That makes sense. Then that maybe that should tell you to stop. You know, just stop. Stop. Get some help. Stop. <laughs> you know, just an idea. Just an idea. You know, probably a good idea, but just an idea. You know what I mean? Just an idea. Okay. Uh, is there anything I can do to help you out? I am in need of a good courier, actually. What's the job? It is simple. I just don't have the time to leave my work. Tell me what you would have me do, because you just constantly stop before you tell me answers like this. Take these credits and meet a supplier of mine, a Twi'lek. He has a vital part needed to complete my triangulation. Give him the payment and he will give you the part. Bring the part here. Simple. Where were you supposed to meet this Twi'lek? The Twi'lek is to meet me in Pylon 3, just a few minutes. I, I didn't get to read the rest of that, but okay. I get 500 credits. Droid Lap Assistant does not tell me anything else. Okay. Gotta meet the Twi'lek by Pylon 3. This seems important, but for later... Ooh, a backpack. Whoa. An inconspicuous backpack holding a deadly gas mine, security spike tunneler, security tunneler, components, and power pulsar mark II. Okay. All right. That's a lot of stuff. Lutra. Hmm. And... Magnetically sealed storage door locked from the inside. And I can't access it. Okay. Well. That eliminates that option. This seems important. But I'm not sure how. Actually, you know what? I'm going to find out. Lutra. Hello. I don't know who you are, but you picked the wrong room to break into. 
<laughs> dark side, dark side. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. No harm done. For a minute, I thought you might have been someone else. What do you mean? My wife, Ada. There's a chance she may be here on Nar Shadda. A lot of refugees ended up here after the Jedi Civil War. I came here to see if I could track her down. Uh... Thing is, I can't get into the refugee sector. And even if I could, I'm not sure I could find her. I've been here for weeks, hoping to see her face. All I've done is watch my credits burn away to nothing. Why can't you get into the refugee sector? I was under the understanding it was pretty easy. The exchange has got the place barricaded with thugs. Oh. They're putting a the squeeze on the whole sector, trying to crush the spirit out of the remaining refugees. That makes now sense. Now I'm almost cleaned out. I burned the last of my fuel and my freight just getting here. The exchange promised me a job shuttling freight via cargo cruiser, and I'm close to taking them up on it. Yeah, that seems like their shtick. They know you're on your way out when it comes to financial situations, and then they offer you jobs to help them. That sounds about right. And it also makes sense that the exchange is blockading access to the refugee sector. If they're going to be putting the squeeze on them, they can't let anyone else get in and try to help them. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Welp. I could persuade... You to just take the job with the exchange? Wow, that's dark side. Especially when I don't know that. Some refugees in the sector said, oh, that's just a flat out lie. I can just still go to hand me your valuables. Or, how do you know she's still alive? I don't. And that's the most frustrating thing. But sometimes, sometimes I'm just sure she's still alive. Somewhere. Aww. I may be able to get into the refugee sector for you. Yeah? And what's it going to cost me? I'd just like to help if I can. Well, I'm not going to turn away an offer of help. All right, stranger. If you can find her, then you'll have my thanks. Let me go see what I can find out in the refugee sector. Cool. I will take the box, though. Whatever's in your box. The frag grenades. I'll need those. Bye! Nothing in there. Uh, let's talk to you. The Savio. Are you from the Dock Authority? If so, I say twice. I will not pay the departure fee. It is as if you were taking money at Blaster Point. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I could act like I know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. And give me your stuff. <laughs> Blaster Point. Close enough. Get ready to die. Whoa. Wow. Sorry, wrong room. So I could be like, no, I didn't mean to be here. Uh, go, okay, you die anyway. Or take your stuff and act like I'm part of the docking authority. Or, I'm not from the dock authority. What do you mean? The dock authority is the second force of the exchange. They charge high cred for leaving and entering the dock area. I was able to dock, but when I arrived, I found my contact was not here. The dock authority with, will impound my ship unless I can get enough creds to pay to leave. Okay, I'll go see the dock master, see if I can help. Thank you, human. The dock master is Fasa. I will not forget you interceding on my behalf. Out of curiosity, what is your cargo, Lasavo? I am transporting cryogenic power cells, a large shipment. Again, I thank you for your help. Could I have one of your power cells? If you can help me, I will give you one. I'll let you know what happens. Cool. Cryogenic power cells, huh? Ooh, more meditation bands. Good. Ooh. Needs headwear. I mean, awareness is good. Really, the only one who'd benefit from wisdom, or at least extra wisdom, would be Kreia. Yeah, she'd benefit more from it benefit the most from it actually all right power cells 
Wait, I keep hitting the wrong button. Overtaxed Athorian. Without the money for, from the trade, he can't pay the docking fees. Uh, met a man named Lutra who's looking for his wife. Mm -hmm. Bith scientist offer. Wasn't there something about new fuel source? Would those power cells count as a new fuel source? Or is there another thing? I'm not sure. Vasa, I need to talk to you. You're interrupting me for a reason. I have a lot of work to do to manage here, right? So what is it? Uh, I want to talk to you about Lesavo. The Athorian. Nothing to talk about. You pay docking fee, he go. Huh. Hmm. I could mention that he's trying to sell power cells. Hmm. He can't pay the docking fee because he can't sell his power cells. Power cells, you say? I have an idea. Pylons need new power supply. Ithorian give Fasa some power cells and Fasa let him go. Agree? Hmm. If you need power cells so badly, maybe you should give Lasavo some extra money. I, I like how they misspell the name in the second <laughs> the second option when it right there it's a proper spelling. Uh, or I could persuade for me to get the money. <laughs> that seems dark sidey though. I'm just gonna go with you know, just give him extra money. It's his cells, he was trying to sell them. So, if you need power cells so badly, maybe you should give Lasavo some extra money. Don't worry about it, human. Fasa and Lasavo can talk. You go tell him? I'll let him know. Great, good. What else? Uh, who do you work for? My boss is the hut, Voga. I oversee the docks for Voga's freighters. How is business these days? You're not from here? Business bad. Freighters get hijacked. No trade gets through. And can't get fuel from Slaheron. Fuel reserves building up back there. Who's hijacking the freighters? Godo and his exchange hijacks as Goda's bogus ships. Hurts business. Why is Godo hijacking the freighters? For money, I assume. We don't know how he gets done. Every ship he we send out, he gets. Okay, then what about something else? Hurry up, I have a lot to do. Never mind, I'll be going. I guess I'll figure that out l later. Slaheron has a buildup of fuel, though. That's interesting to know. You know what? I'm going to see... You thought you could sneak up on us. You were wrong. Well, I mean, you're not doing anything, so... <laughs> they all say this. <laughs> I, okay, I'm done. I'm done. Bye. Shut up. Jesus. Alright, now let's talk to Lesavo. Hello again. Vasa says that you can depart now. Oh, this is good news. Here's a power cell, as I promised. I'll be on my way. Good luck, Lasavo. I was about to say, I thought I heard that, saw that misspelled it. He just did a little jig in front of me before he left. <laughs> uh, cryogenic power cell. Is it? Is it just me or is that floating? Yeah, that's floating. <laughs> that metal box is floating off of the air. <laughs> it's repulsor lift tech, you know? It's just it's to help it be able to move and, you know <laughs> not need wheels for it. <laughs> oh, I just noticed that. Okay, let me look at the cryogenic power cell I just picked up. Uh, I have no idea where it would be though. Uh, Jesus, it's got to be all the way down here. There it is. Cryogenic power cell are intended to be used in large construction droids. Hmm. Then what can I use it for? 
Interesting. Let me talk to Faza again. Since I have it now. You interrupting me for a reason? Uh... Never mind. Never mind. Okay, well, I'm going to end the episode here for right now because we are a little over time. And I'm going to figure out what I can do with the power cell, among other things. Okay. Oh, looks like the Jedi raised their standards. Hanhar. I thought I smelled something. I've told you before, hunt your own targets. Don't scavenge mine. You are my prey, female. What, Always. What, the hut suddenly made you stupider, Hanhar? You touch me, you'll break the truce. And then you won't last long enough to slip off this moon. Maybe I forget truce for a short while. Go mad. Forget rules. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Maybe seeing your bones break, seeing you in pain will be all I need to see before I die. Then the life debt over and I can be at peace. Don't, Hanhar. I'm warning you. Warn me? Of what? Warn me you trick me? Warn me you violate life debt? Little human girl, I could crush you with one hand and mit I lifetime of misery. life debt, Hanhar. I told you. Then little girls should not have made mistakes so long ago. On Kashyyyk, females who make mistakes die. Hanhar smells your fear, even through the stink of the moon. Yeah, you're right. I'm afraid. I'm afraid if you keep crushing me, I'll accidentally set off my rocket charges and blow us both to Nalhada. Are you finally ready to die? I do not think so. Your eyes show you are still filled with fear. I'd rather die than be caught by you again, Hanhar. It is not the time for you to enter the Shadowlands. What it is, I will be there, my claws at your throat, and I will stare into your eyes as you die. Okay. How are you able to see me through the ship, is my question. You were all the way over there. What? Whatever. Whatever. Not the point. I'm ending the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos. And if you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and weirdly pronouncing words as I try to get through this game. Which gets weirder by the second. And gets more fantastically weird as time goes on. But it's Star Wars. That's kind of what it do best. So we're just along for the ride. For me and for you.